Okay, so today's video, we're gonna be doing, I guess the fourth step now, um, at least in my process, which is gonna be installing the tune and making sure that goes smoothly. So once the tune gets installed, then I know I'm good to go ahead and install the rest of the supercharger or at least get into the next step um, because I wouldn't wanna put the supercharger on and then something goes wrong with the tune and I'm stuck with the supercharged vehicle that I can't tune or something of that nature. We had a bit of issues with the Diablo Sport, which is why I'm hesitant um, or just a little bit cautious, I should say to get that tune in there and make sure it works good. Um, right now, we finally got the Viper back. So we got my car in the garage now. I'll get into that in another video. But here is the Ram project. And in the last video, if you guys didn't see it, I'll link it above here. Uh, we put and we actually pinned the crank pulley. So that's done. And another video, we installed the intercooler. So that's all ready to go. And the plumbing is sitting here taped up, uh, clean, ready to go. Obviously I have the stock air box just chilling there. But, and there's the old fan. Actually we got the old electric fan and I think there's the mechanical fan sitting there. Our E-fan, which we took out in the last video is there as well. And let's move on. Okay, so here we are. This is the HP tuners window. Hopefully you guys can see this, but what we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and open the file. Okay, so we have the J green tune. I got a folder here. Uh, first tune, so this is the initial ones he sent me. He sent me three different ones for different octane levels, so 87, 91, and 93. Obviously, you wouldn't be trying to get on it with the 87 one, but if I had to take a road trip or something, I wanted something where I could just run 87 just to uh, you know save on, on fuel if needed. I don't think I'm going to use it, but it's nice to at least have the option. So I'm going to load the 91 tune. So we're going to say open. So this thing is doing its thing. Here we go. Okay, so the tune's open, and now what we're gonna do is go to right vehicle. So you can see this option I've selected here. So we're gonna click this, and see what it says. You do not have a license for this file, blah, blah, blah. Show license options, let's see. Okay, so you do not have a license to perform the current action. Select the license you wish to activate from the list below, below because I purchased credits. So that's the screen that's giving me here. So the car is dinging because the door is open and the ignition is on, but we have the HP tuners unit plugged in to the computer with the USB cable. And it's doing this initial write process that it said it had to do. And um, as you guys can saw or saw that we had to activate the credits. So it's doing that. It has to do some initial process as it has about five minutes, it said it could take up to 15 minutes, so we're gonna let this do its thing. And um, yeah, if this all loads, no errors, then we're good to uh, start doing the rest, which is put in the injectors and she should fire up with the larger injectors. Not only that, but we also have a larger map sensor, which I was carrying around somewhere, here it is. So the larger three bar map sensor for boost, because obviously the one that comes stock isn't uh, capable of reading boost. This is what's gonna do that. So that'll be in the next video, but as long as this tune loads, then we'll be done this step and we can move on to the next. So right now it's writing to the ECM. So it's doing the engine side of it. It seems to be going smoothly. It's almost 100% done. And then it's gonna move on to the TCM, which is the transmission, of course. Validating, it says. Okay, now it's saying turn ignition off. Wait 10 seconds, and then we turn it back on. So I'm gonna jump in just so this thing's not dinging it like crazy at us. So now we'll turn the ignition on, but not start it. Open the window so I don't roast myself in here. And, okay, so now we're gonna click on. See what it's gonna do next. Still working on the ECM, it says. It's erasing something. Now it's writing. So four minutes, I guess it's still writing the uh, ECM at this point. So let's let that run through and then uh, we'll see what the next step is. But so far, this seems fairly straightforward, guys. A little bit more advanced than Diablo Sport, but it seems to be doing its thing and um, I don't have any issues so far. Knock on wood. Next step is saying turn ignition off, wait 10 seconds, turn it on. So we'll go over here, turn it off. Wait 10 seconds. I've always been curious what this process actually does, but 
sure it uh sure it's there's a reason for it but yeah you have to wait 10 seconds even the diablo sport same thing you just sit there and wait for 10 seconds for whatever reason okay i think that should be good so turn it on click okay okay so it says actually the ecm is completed so we're good and now waiting 15 seconds before trying next controller so this is going to be the tcm transmission control module Okay, so it says it's a racing, and over here it says writing. So now it's writing the transmission tune. That's exciting because with my 2014, how many issues I had with the 2014 and just in general, any 2014. There's a lot of strange issues. This is kind of weird, the whole dash went black. I've never seen that before, but the lights are on, but every, like the actual middle part is not illuminated, but it's doing its thing. And all the time, whenever the it's writing a transmission tune, these things always go crazy. The lights on the on the transmission knob, whatever you want to call it, the shifter. Oh, there we go. So everything is coming back to life here. Okay, so same thing again. It's sitting there, you know, turn ignition off. So I'm just gonna wait for all the dinging to stop, even though this thing said to turn it off. Okay, so this thing's telling us to turn it off, and wait 10 seconds, turn on. So we'll turn it off and we'll wait 10 seconds. Da, 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 da. But again, same process with Diablo Sport. It seems like you have to do this thing where you wait 10 seconds. So there we go. Now we'll turn it two clicks to run. Let everything kind of kick in here and stop chiming before I hit OK. So now on the computer, I'll hit OK. It says cleaning up 1,000, or 100%, not 1,000. Okay guys, so this one's a little bit bittersweet for me. I am having the exact same issue that I was having with Diablo Sports, writing the transmission. Um, it gets pretty much to the completed stage and doesn't complete. And I'm kind of pissed off. Um, I've spent over $1,000 on the HP Tuners system to write this, and it's failing. So I'm hoping that there is a solution. Maybe I can ship the PCM to HP Tuners and they can do something to it, but I'm not gonna be speaking too highly of HP Tuners if they don't fix this. Um, because Diablo Sport was a lot cheaper, HP Tuner is expensive AF. Um, it is just ridiculously expensive. You have to buy the actual uh, MPVI2 unit, which is a few hundred bucks, then you have to buy credits, which is $50 a piece. They want four credits just for the transmission, so do the math, that's $200. Then they want two more credits for the engine, do the math again, that's 100 bucks. So you're talking $300 just for credits, plus the $250 or so for the unit, so you're at 550. Not only that, but if you want remote tuning, you have to pay the tuner on the other side, in this case, Jay Green, uh, to buy credits on his side, which makes no sense for me. Um, so he spent another $300 in tune. So now we're at, what is that? It's called $900 at least. And then you have to pay the tuner. So now we're close to 1500 bucks, whatever, roughly. So um, the PCM, um, the ECM actually, the engine portion of it, that part is written, it works, it's good. But the TCM part, the transmission did not uh, write properly. So um, we're gonna have to figure that out and see what solution they have but right now I can go ahead and still bolt on the supercharger but unfortunately the transmission I don't know if it's uh, if it tunes I don't know if it's drivable um, I have kind of stuff uh, apart under the hood right now so I kind of have to go ahead and put the supercharger on it at this point but hopefully uh, it's at least drivable maybe the stock if it's anything like the Diablo Sport and how that worked it's failed on the on the right process for the transmission, and it was just like the stock transmission tune in the truck. I don't, I don't know if, even though it didn't say completed on the HP tuners, if it completed the, the modified tune or if it's still the stock tune stuck in there. So we'll find out, but that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. If you like it, give a thumbs up. I don't really like the fact that it's not working, but we'll see, and hopefully we get it sorted out. I'll talk to HP tuners and uh, Jay Green on Monday, and hopefully it gets resolved, but that's where we're at right now, and we're going to keep plugging away, at least get this thing all supercharged, but I don't know if this thing is just going to be 
um, like this 2014 is going to be impossible to tune. And if that's the case, I don't know what we're going to do because we need the transmission to be tuned. If I can't tune the transmission, we might ditch this whole vehicle and get one that we can tune the transmission. So I hope that's not the case, but I'll keep you guys posted. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.